Hi, it's Matt Bisogno here, and um, I just thought I'd record a very quick video about the value machine, uh, Kieran Ward's new software, which is closing down today. Um, I, I guess a lot of people, they've obviously seen the emails, but don't actually know what the value machine is, what it does, how it works, and, um, uh, and you know, w what it can do. So um, the purpose of this hopefully short video is to just show a couple of things there. Um, the value machine runs in your browser, so um, this is running in my uh, Google Chrome browser, as you can see. Um, and um, when you log in, you'll see three tabs, selections, settings and previous races. Um, I'm on the selections tab, but I'm going to quickly go to the settings tab to show you how you can configure this to suit your tastes. Um, as you can see, I've set a minimum price of four and a maximum price of 11. So that's basically three to one to 10 to one. Um, I can choose any or all of these bookmakers to include it, uh, in consideration. Um, the ones with the asterisk by them are best odds guaranteed. Um, here I've selected a minimum of two value bookies. Now that means if there's just one bookmaker going a standout price, um, the software is going to ignore that. It wants at least two bookmakers to have the price. Um, sometimes you go to get it and it's not there. <clears throat> Obviously if it's with two bookmakers you've got twice as much chance of getting the price. Um, I have selected the bookmakers where I can generally get a small bet on um, and I'm going to come back to that notion of a small bet in a minute um, because I think it's important in this context because um, the way I've set this up I do uh, there are quite a lot of selections for me so I'm getting sort of 15 uh, selections a day now obviously if you want less than that you can change these price parameters um, to be a shorter range uh, and you will get less selections um, over the long period of time over the long term um, you'll probably make a commensurately uh, a commensurate profit i.e less selections equals less profit but in terms of return on investment it'd probably be a similar amount um, this this the morning value service has been pitching at about 11 11 or 12 percent return on investment over f more than five years and a lot of bets it's it's um it's it's a very consistent and proven approach um, just at the bottom you can see that there's an option to select a maximum number of horses in a race um, and you can choose by the selections to be picked by lowest or highest price so these are my settings anyway um, once you've set these up that's it you leave it you just set you don't have to touch them again um, obviously if you open new accounts you can tick those and they'll be included in consideration um, so essentially what I do every day at around about this time it's 1103 as I'm recording this um, sometime between half 10 and 11 o'clock or maybe half past 11 if I forget which I sometimes do um, I'm going to go to the selections uh, tab and you can see here that there are today's bets and today's bets added um, and some buttons to export any of this content away to a, a format that suits you so you can print it or put it in a PDF or an Excel document or you can copy it and then paste it into Word or whatever, an email, whatever you want. Um, <clears throat> um, so if I just click the All Races button now, that's going to run the software and identify those horses that fit today. And uh, very quickly, as you can see, it's done that it, literally in a, in a second or two. Um, and we can see that for each selection, it tells me the time and the meeting and the selection, the current price, the bookmakers who are offering that price, um, where there's only one bookmaker offering it, as in the case of Stan James with Tyrannical here, um, it shows me the alternative price. So the current price with Stan is 6.5, which is 11 to 2. Um, generally, it's a 5 to 1 shot. So um, I, I might end up getting, I mean, I can't, if, if Stan James is still 6.5, I could get that. Otherwise, I'm going to end up getting uh, 6 or 5 to 1 somewhere else. That's fine. Um, in terms of the actual operation of the software, you're going to see the first selection, 220 Leicester, Italian heiress, um, four bookmakers. So you, you will then manually go and place the bet with one of these bookmakers. Um, 
bet 365 bet fred stan james william hill um and once you've placed the bet to your stake and as i say um if you're well regardless of how many selections you're getting uh when you're starting you've got a two-week trial for seven pounds and my strong recommendation is to bet to a small subset of what you'd normally bet just to get a feel for things maybe even paper trade it you can just click these and and, and tick them as added um and then it will calculate the profit and losses i'll show you in a minute uh and then you've got your your risk is seven pounds and if if it if um this doesn't work for you you can get your seven pounds back so it, it really is risk-free to test it out um and um, as I say with all services, betting services and tips to services and systems, if you dive in head first on day one, you get what you get and you deserve it. Um, not everything works for everybody. If you can't um, retain a modicum of discipline for a short period of time while you feel things out, then if it goes bad, it's your fault. It's nobody else's fault. Um, so <laughs> I'll put my soapbox away and apologies for the lecture. But really, it's a £7 two-week trial. There's absolutely no reason why you wouldn't take it very steadily in the first fortnight to see if it works for you. OK, so um, let's assume I've placed this bet with William Hill or Stan James or Bet Fred or 365. And I'm going to click Add. Now that selection has gone down to my Today's Bets Added. I, re I repeat that uh, exercise for every uh, nominated selection and as I do it I click the add button to add them to the bottom. Um, I'm paper trading this at the moment and I'm, I'm enjoying the experience and it's fun tracking the results. Um, if I wasn't paper trading I'd probably be betting to a couple of quid so I, my liability would be about £30 a day. Um, which is fine for me. Now, that might be too much for you, in which case bet a pound or 50p or 25p or nothing. Um, you know, Whatever works for you. Maybe you want to bet a fiver um, or a tenner. It, it, it really doesn't matter. That's that's up to you. But I'm betting a small, a very small subset of my normal stake um, just while I'm playing around with this. So, um, as you can see in the Today's Bets added column, um, I've got all my selections. If I couldn't get the price, I can change the um, it, I can change the price on here. I could make that eight if I could only get eight, um, and then that will, when the results are calculated, it will be calculated against that figure. But in this case, we're going to assume I got all those prices. Um, and then uh, the last thing that we do, um, which is the tracking element in the software, is the previous results tab. Now, each night, um, I will click the Refresh Previous Bets button. And it will go away and it will do the calculations to find out whether the horse is won or lost, um, if there was a rule for and the profit and so on. And as you can see, um, right down at the bottom here, uh, my today's selections <coughs> have been added in here. Um, so they go from the 220 Italian heiress um, what you can also see is that since I started on the 30th of September so it's the 30th the 1st 2nd and the 3rd of October up to the end of yesterday my picks were showing a profit of 32 and a half points um, which is well, actually, it's very good. And, and I just want to make a point about that as well. Um, as I've mentioned already, the long term average for the morning value service on which this software is predicated is about an 11% ROI. Now, I had um, 70, I think it was 69 bets to get 32 points. So that's that's um, some way above what I would expect. Um, in fact, that's that's probably about a 45%. 45% ROI which is which is unsustainable and let's manage our own expectations here okay if we're looking at a 12% ROI on 70 bets we'd probably be looking at about eight and a half points profit but that's sustainable ongoing and it's been sustained over um, many thousand bets over five and a half years um, so in four days if, if I could average out across four days eight and a half points ongoing 
uh, I'd be pretty pleased with that. I, I'd be very pleased with that. Um, so, as I say, I, I do expect um, this to correct in the short term, and then I expect it to um, to um, kick on at around about 11 or 12 percent ROI ongoing. Now, I just wanted to show one other thing um, in relation to this, as Kieran has mentioned, and I've also. Um, touched on um, it's pr it's based on a service called the morning value service now I've been getting the selections for the morning value service um, since it went live over five years ago and this is the this is the kind of email I get this is yesterday's email now you can see in this one that there were two four six eight ten twelve 14, 16, 18, 19 selections and one of interest. Um, I actually only had 15 selections yesterday because I ran the software at a slightly different time and I've got slightly different parameters. Um, in this case, my two winners, Shuranor and Harry Champion, uh, were both in the email service. But um, I haven't checked the results, to be honest. There might, there might have been another winner in here that I didn't get. I'm not remotely interested in that. I'm I, I'm interested in using the software in a way that suits me. Um, the the email service is prescriptive. This is what you get. There's no you must have all the bookmaker accounts. You you bet all the selections with this. You can define your bookmaker accounts and you can define um, the odds range that you want and you can define define the maximum number of runners per race that you want to bet. Um, which means you've got much more control over what the selections that you get. Your profit will be less or more based on how many selections you um, you are betting. But as I say, the ROI over time um, is expected to be between 10 and 12 percent. Um, and that's really all I can tell you about it. It's a very it's a very simple piece of software. It it works very well. I've had no glitches so far. Um, the results sometimes take a while to come in, but if you're, if if like me, you occasionally checking in in the afternoon just to have a look and see what's going on, you kind of know where you are anyway. Um, I'm sure that the results will be updated more like in real time soon enough. Um, this then was a quick look at the value machine. Um, I'm pretty sure Kieran is closing it down this afternoon. He's he's. He's had a lot of interest, um, which is great because it is a really cool piece of software. Um, very easy to use, as I've shown you. And, um, um, you know, seven quid to give it a try uh, with a refund guarantee. If you don't like it, it, it basically, it's a no-brainer. Um, excuse me. So um, if that's your kind of thing, then, um, then do have a look. I'll put a link underneath this video so you can um, you can go and have a play around for yourself. Uh, yeah, that's really all I can tell you about it. This is Matt Bisogno saying thank you for watching. I hope this was uh, interesting and bye for now.